Hello everybody and welcome back to another series that is GTA related. Today we are going to play GTA 3. Ouch. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarter databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. That's me. place on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low but my hands are all messed up so you better drive brother okay so we are going to play this new game well this new old game if you get my drift nothing to see here just panicking because there was just a giant big explosion back there so um yeah, this is like a, an older game that we haven't played before, obviously. But, it's another game we can 100%. So obviously, knowing me, that's exactly what we're going to do. But, first, I gotta go and uh, rescue my buttocks. Because I was just coincidentally broken out of prison. This is the place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. Okay, so we can save here and we can store a vehicle in this garage. That's nice. We need to save a lot because if I tab out, my game crashes. I know this guy. He's connected. His name's Luigi. Me and him go back so I can probably get you some work. Come on, let's head over here. Okay, so... The whole blurred lines thingy, when I move too fast, I can't do anything about that. Because it has to do with frames. And in these games, if you don't turn on frame limiter, so it limits to 30 FPS, a whole lot of weird bugs happen. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to know. It's really wonky. It's really prevalent in cutscenes. For some reason. Wait here, man, while I go in and talk to Luigi. 
Okay. I haven't actually seen these cutscenes. This is the first time I've ever played this game. Besides the trial run I did while trying to record it earlier. But I skipped all cutscenes when I did that, so... Hey, Paul's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Sure. So... I um, have some issues with this. Um, preferably, like, the thing is, like, I can't actually see my map or where I am on the map besides this tiny little blip of the mini map over here. It's really wonky. So, it's going to make a lot of the things uh, more difficult uh, when it comes to. Oh dear completing all the quests and more specifically stuff like hidden, uh, hidden packages and stun jumps and such things because this game has 20 stun jumps 20 rampages and a hundred hidden packages same as um, the la latter the same as Vice City um, In-game noise is really loud right now, so I can barely hear myself talk, but in order to not have to worry about me doing more in post-edit, I actually am keeping it that way for now. I'm gonna change it after the episode ends. So, I did one episode, or one mission, I think. So that's one out of five for Luigi. We can drive around this place now. And I think where I think I sort of know where I am at, but but like I said, this is like really wonky. I'm just gonna drive around. So yeah, um, my choice was either to start playing San Andreas or start playing this one because the software I used for the Five City, like. 100% counter, you see it on the left still. Actually, uh, had GTA 3 as well as GTA um, San Andreas as well for like the counting thingies. So I figured it would be cool to stick with it. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do some some thumb something. Okay, so on the right side, you might notice that there's some telephone uh, like. Icons, I guess. Oh. And the telephone icons, you can see there. Are blue, and then blank, and then red. This is because I uh, I tried changing it, but one of them is blue, one of them is green, and one of them is red. I think these are like special missions for some reason. Um, I cannot actually make the green one visible. Uh, because I use chroma key to get rid of the background so I can left that nice picture that's behind it instead of just, uh, I don't know, a white or, or something square and doing any other color but lime green just doesn't work <laughs> so yeah, we're kinda stuck with that also like the fifth icon doesn't have any green in it normally oh this is a hidden package okay, see I wanted to see what a hidden package looks like before I do anything else, Her ends me going here and checking it out. Um, that's very good. Well, that's the first hidden package done, and the first mission done. We are going to continue. And yeah, I think I think it, this is not as big a game as Vice City is, so it shouldn't take me as long as Vice City did. However, however. I have never played this game before, where with Vice City I did play it before, multiple times actually. So it's gonna be an either or thing, but we'll have to wait and see what actually happens with it. Let's go and check back with Luigi I suppose, and um, go do the next mission, cause that's probably the best thing to do in the beginning, I think. I'm not sure, it's like I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing right now, just don't worry about me.
But yeah, I do know that there's also a... Uh, oh, we can't go over the bridge yet. It, interesting. So the premise is basically the same as Vice City. You can't go over the bridge until you completed a certain amount of missions. Like uh, the, the storm in Vice City. <laughs> cool. Ah. I actually haven't actually played any other GTA games except for 5, but I've only played 5 online. I've watched it being played through in single player though. Oh, this is my home. Oh, yeah. Well, might as well save. What's this thing? Walk through doorway to save game. You cannot save during a mission. Okay. Coolio. I'm gonna save in that slot. Let's hope I can actually load it. And let's grab this baseball bat. Thankfully there's no actual like music. I really thought it would be. Cause I had to change choose like a um, radio channel to default ass. But I didn't want radio. It's really weird. I'm happy with the controls though, the controls are good. I had to fiddle, fiddle with it a little bit, especially mouse sensitivity, but... Don't spank my bitch up. Spank my bitch up. Spank I mean, I mean what? To, to give you this, so... Here, here, take it. You're not the brightest bulb in a bunch, aren't you? Oh. Take his car, respray <clears throat> it. I want compensation for this insult. Oh, Luigi, you are special, aren't you? I already have a bat. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'll take another bat, but. Listen, if you don't stop honking your horn, I'm gonna steal. I'm gonna steal your car anyway. Ooh, Esperanto. Esperanto. Oh god, it handles as bad as it does in Vice City. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, oh did oops, oops, sorry. Mistakes were made. It's fine. Don't 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 worry. Oh, I have to take his car now. They have to show me where pain spray is because I don't know that. It's orange. Some of these colors are so weirdly different, it's like wonky. I do at some point, however, want to do San Andreas because but you know, because I have the option. But San Andreas, man, like that's that's a game and a half. Like it, the map's like I think two or three times bigger than Vice City was. So, dare me. Also, I really don't like that they have unique stun jumps, but stun jumps aren't actually in the um, in the one hundred percent list. Makes it feel really weird. Yeah. Okay. Oh dear god, this is a really slippery car, dang. Okay. So far, so far I'm okay with this game. I'm gonna have to go into a garage box. That's a really, really tiny entrance. Oh, we did it! Oh, we're the best. We're the best around. I, I, I was almost, I almost walked out onto the street on that one. <laughs> Your health displayed in the orange. Oh no, shit, Sherlock. When you're wasted, you return to the nearest hospital. Yeah. 
You will lose your weapons and the doctors will take some cash for pay. any missions you were on will be failed. You'll find ways of healing or protecting yourself the more you play the game. Did we just get a... Oh. I thought they just gave us a shield or an armor thingy. Oh, this is the police department. I'm sure I'll get to see them a lot. <laughs> okay, let's steal a cab right in front of the police department. Okay, I'm not yet ready to do any kind of mission that way. I do want to try and mix and match like the hidden packages and the other missions a bit more than I did during Vice City. Because my Vice City series focused heavily on... Um, on the missions in the beginning and then afterwards I didn't do a lot of other things. Or I had to do them all at once. It's a bit wonky. Don Leon, really? Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage and threaten and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. Is Misty Mercedes? Misty's Mercedes. I'm sad she's not, you know, styling in purple. That guy's styling purple. Ah, okay. At least the horn is working. Better than uh, in Vice City, that is. She's rocking green and red, though. That's okay. Well, she has purple stockings. Yeah. How do you know you can trust me, Misty? How do you know, eh? What have I ever done to give you the you know, the, 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 the idea that you can trust me? I'm working for a criminal empire for Freya out loud. Ooh, yikes. That was a bit too slippery for my tastes. I'm not speeding or running red lights right in front of the police station. No siree. I like doing some missions in the beginning mostly because it also gives you the opportunity to start learning the map a little bit. Because you generally have to go all around. Joey! Am I gonna get to play with you again? I'll be with you in a minute, Spark Plug. <laughs> Hey, I'm so Joey. corny. You said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. All right? So corny. I can't believe that they actually did that. Oh my god. Okay. Um. So. We're gonna make this an interesting uh, thing, and oh dear, oh dear, yikes! I can still drive. I feel like this is some kind of military installation, or at least it's supposed to be. Can I get in there? No. Okay. I was gonna pick up a hidden package over there, but apparently I'm not allowed in there. Also, there's one on the water, which I can only assume is somewhat related to any kind of like... Um... Boating mission, or when you get to fly, if you fly? Oh god, I don't know enough about this game, this is bad. I do want to get one more hidden package though. Just to finish up the episode, otherwise this whole me rambling and walking and driving around is like for nothing. Okay. You 
feel like chilling. The only question is, inside or outside? Up. Wait, is that it? No, that's a police thingy. Yeah, can't go in. Oh, it's so quiet up here. It's not up. Is it up there? Oh, that's a possibility. How do I get up there, though? Um. Okay, then. Has to be up there. Or it might be in, I guess. Let's see. Can I survive that? Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. I was kind of wondering about that, fall damage-wise and everything. Car's safe quite off a long time as well. No, I think we have to go up there. Well, anyway, I'm sorry. I could not promise or deliver what I promised. I really wonder how to get up there then. I'm sure there is a way. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye-bye.